Hello, this is Orkan and welcome to the vocabulary lesson Free Agent. So in this lesson I'm just going to discuss um, some of the maybe uh, more difficult phrases that we used in the uh, main lesson Free Agent. Just just uh, to be sure that you understand everything you heard in the in, in the uh, my presentation. So let me start from the beginning. So if you remember the first, uh, we have this word uh, free agent, free agent, right? What is a free agent? So the free agent is that you see, um, you see this word actually used in the sport businesses a lot. A free agent is a person, an employer or player or someone like that, who is free to move to a new company. They are free to change their team, free to change their job, free to change their company and etc. So it's the, the opposite idea of someone who stays in one job, in one company, all of their life. A free agent might constantly change their jobs, change the company they work for. The next was the phrase to throw cold water on. Throw cold water on an idea. If you throw cold water on an idea, you are saying that the idea is not good. You are taking away the excitement about the idea. So if we throw cold water on the idea of, for example, lifetime employment, you can imagine we have some cold water and we are throwing it on someone. Immediately it will shock them and it will make them not warm anymore, not excited anymore. So to, to throw cold water on an idea, it means to kill that idea or just put down that idea. So we are saying that the idea of lifetime employment is not true anymore. We are throwing cold water on it. The next word was career. Of course, this is, is the common word. It just means that you are your lifetime job history in the past, now, and into the future. You also heard the word mindset. A mindset is just an attitude. It's your set of beliefs about some topic. So your mindset is your attitude about a topic. Next, you heard the phrase business-minded business-minded so biz to be business-minded means to have a business mindset it means to have a, a business attitude it means you think about something like a business person that's to be business-minded next word was the a brand this word is used in the in 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 business a lot as a verb or as a noun so to brand, to brand, it kind of has the idea of to market or to promote yourself. We need to brand this product. It means you need to promote yourself in a special way. You need to communicate about yourself in a special way. Sell yourself in a special way. A brand is a special product, basically. A brand is a special product or special name. It could be uh, a special company, but it's unique, it's special, and it's different. You also heard the phrase, uh, this is my favorite one, budget crunch. A budget crunch. A budget crunch means a budget shortfall. It means that you don't have enough money. The budget is going down. The budget is, is not enough. The money is not enough. So if your department has a budget crunch, for example, it means that your department does not have enough money. Uh, next word was a uh, trade organization. In America, we say organization. In British, we say organization. A trade organization is just some kind of organization. It, it could be a club, for example, that is focused on, on one kind of a job. For example, you know, like you might have an advertising organization, a trade organization, right? And the people have, um, who have actually advertising jobs, they might join that group. 
a trade organization is 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 not one company it's a people from many different companies they come together share information to make connection with each other that that sort of thing uh you heard also the phrase uh to know a great deal about know a great deal about your job for example a great deal means a lot so know a lot about your job know a great deal about your job so know a lot about your job same meaning next one interesting one the word secluded 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 means isolated secluded means away from other people secluded means alone so don't be secluded in your job don't be alone in your job you need to connect with other people in your company in the people who also like do your job and etc next word was the under, understand the total picture understand the total picture sometimes we say understand the big picture it's the same meaning so to understand the total picture means you understand everything not just a small piece about your company so for example in, in your job if you understand the whole picture if you understand the big picture if you understand the total picture it means you understand all of the company not just your job not just your department you understand all the parts of the company you understand everything basically uh, next word was um, was a kind of a slang phrase a purple cow you know like the term I got it from the book uh, written by Seth Godin, a purple cow. A purple cow is something that is very unique, very special, very, very different than normal. The next word was downsize, to downsize. It can be a verb. To downsize means to cut employees. It's a nice way to say to fire people, really, or to cut them. But the difference is if you fire someone, the phrase to fire usually it means the person did a, a bad job so they must leave the company so to downsize means you are cutting the employees you are cutting people but usually it's because you you have a uh, you have a budget crunch it's because uh, uh, there is not enough money to pay them so maybe they are uh, doing a good job but the company wants to cut employees to save money right so the verb is to downsize. But noun is downsizing. Okay. Next word you heard was uh, cutbacks. Cutbacks. It just means cuts, like budget cuts. If a company has cutbacks, it means they are cutting their budget. They must reduce the amount of money they are spending. So they might cut employees that's a cutback they might cut cut their uh, advertising that's also a cutback so a cutback is just a cut in the budget right next word to implement to implement uh, to implement is is, is a word um, to implement means to do a plan it means to take action on a plan it means to to make the plan happen so the first you plan something i'm going to do these and these and these and then you implement the plan it means you do the plan you actually do what you plan to do okay uh you also heard the phrase uh, this this one is interesting they move up the supervisory ranks Maybe you wanted to you want to move up the supervisor ranks, right? So the phrase move up the ranks, move up the ranks just means to go higher in your company, go higher in your career. So let's say maybe you start at the bottom and then you want to move up. 
it means that you get a higher paying job and then you maybe want to get another promotion you want to go up again to to higher paying job so you just moving uh, up the ranks the word supervisory just means management so move up the management ranks so usually the managers get paid more than the lowest uh, level workers so maybe you want to move up the supervisor ranks so you wanted to go into the management part of the business and then you move up higher um next word was uh, was a phrase actually the long term that's a very common in english actually so so we have a short term and long term so if you focus on short term it means you are focusing on now you are focusing on the present right now maybe the next few months that's what you're thinking about but long term means you are thinking a lot about the future this year next year five years from now ten years from now so for example you know like in this lesson we said you need to think long term right so it means that you need to think about your career your jobs into the future far into the future you need to plan your career for the next uh, at least three years next five years don't just think about right now think about what will happen next year or five years from now that's the, uh, the thinking long term next phrase is pay off to pay off to pay off it's kind of has the idea of succeeding if you do something and it pays off it means you get a reward you get some payment for your action so you get some good result so if you say my hard work paid off that's the past paid off my hard work paid off it means your hard work gave you a reward you got some good benefit from it um and the last one i think uh, is the reality check a reality check you know guys you need to make a reality check you need to have a reality check about your career about your job about your skills a reality check means to be very realistic about something it means to look at it very honestly and to be very honest so for example we all like to dream right right so we all like to imagine we like to think that our own skills are are they very great are wonderful but sometimes we need a reality check. It means we need to think really realistically and be honest about our weaknesses and be honest about our problems. So that's the reality check. The reality check is like an honest viewpoint. Uh, one more word. So you heard the phrase uh, generate a buzz, generate a buzz about yourself. I really like this word. I'm using it very often. So the buzz is the sound zzz, right? Buzzing like that's what the direct meaning. But the phrase to generate a buzz means to generate excitement about yourself or to generate to create talk about yourself in a positive way, of course. So if you generate a buzz about yourself, it means you get a lot of people talking about you. If you do a great job, then maybe your your boss will talk about you. The other workers will talk about you. There's a lot of positive talk about you. That's a boss, boss, right? That's a positive boss about you. So again, the buzzing uh, about you means um, talking about you. That's it, right? So if the people are buzzing about you, it means that they are talking about you a lot. Now, it can be, you know, like um, negative too, you know, you can have a negative buzz. Uh, let's say you do something terrible and everybody will talking about you. That's called a negative buzz. Uh, but of course, you want a positive buzz. Um, and finally, guys, the, the last word, 
I think was the bring something to the table. That's the phrase, the long phrase. So you need to bring something to the table for your company. If you want it to be successful, if you get the attention of your employer, you have to bring something to the table. It means to bring something useful or to contribute. It really means to uh, contribute something positive. Some people might ask questions, for example, what can you bring to the table? That means what benefits, benefits can you offer? What positive things can you do? So bring something to the table means to contribute. It means to, uh, to bring positive results and benefits. All right, that's the end of our vocabulary for the uh, free agent lesson. Just listen to this vocabulary several times if you want. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.